Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. You probably thought we weren't gonna plant potatoes this year. To be honest, I was starting to wonder myself, but we finally got a beautiful day. The ground is still too wet to work. A lot of places were out of seed potatoes because I didn't buy them in advance. We're gonna show you the trick to use when you're out of time and the ground's too wet to work. I'm gonna plant these in a way I've only planted them one time in my life. Had super results. Did not have to cultivate and did not have weeds it worked great and it's the quickest possible way that i know to plant them usually when you plant you have to plow till and then lay off your rows put them in the ground and cover them up that takes a lot of work what we're going to do today has almost none of that let's do it See you later, Rusty. We gotta go to work now, okay? This is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna plow. I'm gonna turn the dirt over. The boys are gonna come in, stick the seed potatoes about that far down from the top. We don't want them buried full depth. Sticking them in to that loose dirt. And then when I come back and plow again, it'll cover them up. We don't even have to cover them up. That's the plan anyway. Let's see what happens. It is way too wet to be in here doing anything more than what I just did because it's just going to turn into a clod field when the sun bakes it. I'll show you. Here's you a grub. See that looks like loose dirt? You pack it together. It's not loose dirt. If you were to get in here and till this, it would turn it into an absolute mess. So the only way we can plant potatoes today is to do it this method right here. So you clearly see the, how this is. Here's your seed potato. You're just gonna stick it in here like this, like that right there. And about every foot and a half or so, just like that, it's not all the way down at the bottom. And when I come back through, it should cover them up. We'll see if it does. I love showing you new crazy ways to do stuff. I planted corn like this one time and half or th two thirds of the people said that's going to be a failure. It was a success. And a good old camo cowboy outdoors. He said, I've learned not to ever bet against you, McGee. <laughs> anyway, if you're going to bet against me, this would be a good time to do it because 
This may not work, but we're gonna try it. As you see behind me, we planted potatoes. We planted potatoes like day before yesterday, literally. That afternoon, I said, you know what, David, it'd be a good idea to set some coyote traps in that area because we've been getting several pictures of them and we know they're around. We know fawns and baby turkeys are about to be present on the place and we need to get them thinned out, if possible. All season, last trapping season, we only caught one coyote, so Last year, I caught six throughout the spring and summer. So he set the trap, and what do you know? He put some of that scrap beef that wasn't really edible. We saved it for dog food, and then the dog didn't eat it much quick. And it started go going pretty bad. Well, that's perfect bait. You dig a hole, bury that, set traps around it. He set two traps around it. We made two catches at this location let's take a look we got a coyote let me zoom in and a possum at the same set obviously the possum got caught first all right dave you can take care of him he's a mangy old coyote no good hide we just need to thin him out he needs to be dead and gone and that's what he is right? <laughs> 
perfect lung shot and he's going to just not be able to get a breath. I caught the possum coming down there. Uh huh. And then I caught him on the heel right there. Mm. Well, man, I can't believe it. I am tickle pink. It's just a small little coyote, not very big, but yeah. he's obviously trying to kill a possum that's half his size. So let's get him out and, and we'll reset later, I guess, because we got to go to work. The possum is just as damaging to the turkey population as the coyote, believe it or not. Maybe more because honestly, Possums get into a lot more turkey nests and eat the eggs than coyotes do. In my opinion, the coyote, he's more damaging to the fawn population, killing those little babies and eating them up. And you better believe they do. And dipped it in that skunk. Yeah? And stuck it in the ground hanging over it. Huh. I don't know if that's what brought him in or not. But... Two really nice specimens are really bad specimens actually nasty he got a nice front pad catch on the coyote and a back foot catch on the possum they're nasty we're not going to be eating them saving them or using them for anything they are strictly wiped off the face of the world the only good thing they can do now for us is to fertilize the field we're going to be out here before too long plowing getting ready to grow some corn and if the buzzards don't eat them all up, we'll plow them under the dirt. But if the buzzards eat them up, what I learned last year was the buzzards, when they're eating them, they're standing around in a circle pooping. And my grass was way greener where I threw my coyotes, those six from last year. So instead of fertilizing just some old grass, we're gonna throw it in here. This is a perfect place for it. This right here will show you these is turkey eggs that the possums or something got into and broke into it, bit it, and ate it out. I don't know if it's this year's or last year's, but either way, we did find turkey eggs. I've hardly ever found turkey eggs that actually hatched. Almost all the ones I find have been eaten up by wild animals, and that's what they need to do. That's They have to eat. The wild animals have to eat. So... In order to save other animals, we thin these out. I can't help it that some people don't like that. But thankfully, it's my property, my choice, and completely legal in the state of Tennessee to trap possums and coyotes year round. We got them both in the same set. First time that's ever happened to, I say me, but it actually happened to David. It won't be long we'll be out here. I'm not going to mow this before I plow it this year. I'm gonna do something different something that sort of entered my mind last year when Mr. Duncan was asking he was going to do it and I said boy if you go through the pain and suffering I went through the way I did it you're going to be mad at me so I gave him a suggestion he tried it both ways and said my suggestion worked better so I'm going to try my own suggestion this year but that's all we got for you today we hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video